you'll see. Is everybody ready to go? Let's proclaim the greatest radio show. What up, people? This is The Spread. This is a quick pitch pirate baseball segment. We're going to bring it. And guess what? People say it's too early. It's only been a month. I don't care. J Dash, JK47, get him. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of too early, though. It has no, been a month. I'm so, tired of hearing that excuse. Too. I mean, it's kind of hard. Do you believe Jordy Mercer is going to be a 313 hitter by the end of the season? Because that's what he's hitting right now. You know, it's, it's a little bit too early to say these guys are going to be this good or these guys are going to be this bad. But, I mean, we could take a look at it and see where they need to improve. Well, generally the offense as a whole is doing well, and everyone keeps, keeps talking about we're going to get Jung Ho Gung here back. Very soon. Very soon. Actually, I heard it could be as soon as this weekend, but they're not quite sure yet. I mean, David Freeze, he's uh, he's playing well right now. He's hitting 291, has a 376 on base. He does have just a one home run, but he knocked in nine runs. He is caning a little bit too much. 31 Ks and 103 at bats is kind of more than you want to see. But I mean, overall, he's been playing pretty well. His defense, he makes great plays. He looks suspect at times. So, I mean, that's what you got to expect out of him. Like we said, he's an average defender. But, I mean, his bat is working right now. And when Gung does return, I heard that he's only going to play two out of every three days just because of how well Freeze has been playing. And, I mean, you don't want to just throw Freeze on the bench and just give him pinch hit at bats late in the game. You know what I mean? You want to keep this guy playing and keep his bat rolling, you know? I, I, I can dig it. I dig it. Generally, the offense as a whole, though, like we said, has been doing very well. Outside so, of? I'll, I'll, it don't matter. The one the one dude that everyone expects is going to be the best hitter is not hitting very well. So what? That's the one good thing. You know he's going to turn it around. Now, some of these guys, like I said, Jordy Mercer, he's hitting 313. You'd expect that to drop. Uh, Josh Harrison, he's hitting 320 right now, leading all starters. I mean, we ex- all we said he can be a 300 hitter. 320, I mean, it might drop a little bit from that. Marte's know. hitting 315 right now. I don't know if he'll he'll be able to sustain that or not. This is still after these averages are after getting swept by the Cubs, correct? Please believe it. Okay. Yeah, everyone's hitting over 300 besides David Freeze is hitting 291. John Jaso is hitting 277. And McCutcheon, he's hitting 229. I'll take every average on this board. Even the guys on the bench, Sean Rodriguez is killing it. I mean, we're going to have to try to keep him involved in these games, too, because this guy is doing work. He he has four home runs. That's second on a team tied with who? Matt Joyce, who has four home runs. Mm. This bench has been getting it done offensively along with these starters. It, we're just waiting on McCutcheon, really. So with Wang Ho coming back, J.K., uh, it's impressive. I mean, maybe, not, maybe we're not going to be able to knock the Cubs around all year long, but these other NL teams, we should be able to just destroy them, right? Well, I mean, we should be able to compete with anybody. I mean, and even the they, Cubs. They, I mean, they still want ah. pitching to be the strength. Of I'm this telling team, you, man, the Cubs are on a roll right now. Their pitching's going to drop off a little bit. I don't how because listen, Jason Hamill. We we talked about him before the season. He's a solid number three when he's on his game. He's pitching like he's pitching like Arietta. Jake Arrieta right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, if that if that holds up, then yeah, they're, they're going to keep dominating. But that's something that's not going to happen. John Lackey, he's had his ups and downs. I expect that to continue. And Cal Hendricks, I mean, he, again, I like the guy, but he, he's pitching a little bit better than uh, than he's going to over the course of the season. So they're going to fall. I mean, they're 20 and 6 right now, man. They're not going to keep that pace all season long. So this division isn't over by any means. Do you do you guys believe this division's over already? Well, I mean, honestly, it's actually playing out how I actually thought it would. I mean, I thought that Chicago would run away with this division to begin with because, I mean, obviously. So you think it's just going to keep going like this? It's not going to get much worse. Well, I mean, the for the Pirates to even start to even want to consider keeping up with Chicago, they're going to have to upgrade the pitching stuff. It's just, it, it's a it's a must need address, especially if they want to compete in this division. Uh, we'll talk about this later. Let, yeah, let, let's get into this offense though, and what's going to happen when Jung Ho Gung returns? Like I said, David Freeze is playing well, so Gung isn't going to be playing every single day. But when he, he comes back, are you going to slot him right in that third spot, or are you going to drop him to four or five? I'd say somewhere around five or six I'd put him at. Five or six? At right now, in, At least until he starts rolling again anyway. Yeah, right now in the minor leagues, he's six for 40, hitting 150, has one home run, five RBIs, 
four walks compared to nine Ks. So he's not playing great or anything. But we've seen this. Uh, when guys are on a rehab assignment, uh, some of them hit, some of them don't. And when they come up, that has nothing to do with how they were playing in the minor leagues, really. Some guys will play bad in the minors on their rehab assignment, come up and hit like Josh Harrison did last season. Some guy, I mean, maybe Gung does come up and struggle for a little bit. It's nice to have Freeze in case that happens, and maybe Freeze will gain a little bit more playing time as it goes along. But, I mean, from what we've seen from Jung Ho last season, do you have his numbers right now? Okay. I expect nothing less from him. Yeah, you know I'm hoping saying? for nothing less. But like we said at the beginning of the season, you guys expected what, like a dozen home runs from him? I'm expecting a little bit more than that. But I tell you what, if he's not playing every day, I could see something like you guys were saying, like a dozen home runs or something. But I believe yeah. he's going to come up, hit, and work his way back into an everyday player. Well, he had 15 home runs and 58 RBI last year and 421 at-bats. So not bad at all. And that's his rookie season. Now, it's a little different. This guy's already 29 years old. He was already in the midst of his prime, and he still is at this point. Let's hope that injury doesn't affect him too much. Now, I, I, I'm reading still that if Jordy Mercer doesn't keep hitting, they'll move Gung the shortstop, but I'm not quite so sure. I mean, we'll have to see him play on the field because you need a lot more range at the shortstop position than at, at third base, you know. So and plus I don't know leg, if he still has exactly. his leg too. So that does, I don't want to hear about that yet. I just don't see him being as good of a shortstop as what Mercer is. Right. Now, I mean, Mercer's made his mistakes this season too, but he's also made some great plays. And if Mercer's going to keep hitting – to over 300, obviously he's not going to do that. It's going to drop. But if he can stay up there, I mean, usually Mercer's the guy that doesn't hit for the first two, two and a half months of the season, then finally starts hitting well, and by the end of the season, his average is decent. You know, if he can keep this going now, he this might be a breakout season for Mercer, and we're going to be talking about that as well. So go check that segment out. So as long as we're not facing Arietta or Lester or Hamill, <laughs> I think we're good. And yeah, Lester, so that, that's Lester's only looking good. So a far. handful of games then. So with Gung well, yeah, coming here, back. Here's the deal, man. The Pirates were three games behind the Cubs going into that series. So, and really, I mean, you look, the game before that series started, the Pirates went into extra innings and lost to the Reds in an ugly, ugly game. So their downfall started there. They were 15-9 and nine at one point, and we were figuring out projections over 100 games won at that point if it went on the same projection, you know, now it's going to be under that, obviously, because they lost four straight. But the, the Cubs actually lost in extra innings as well in the very same day to the Atlanta Braves of all teams. So it's not like the Cubs are unbeatable. The Atlanta Braves beat them. So anybody can beat them. And look, it was three games at that time. If it turned out the other way where the Pirates swept them, which they didn't, it had been all even. So it's still way too early to say anything at this point. Okay. So... That sounds good to me. That's it. 47. Any last thoughts? Upgrade the pitching. Well, we'll yeah. <laughs> we're not talking okay. about the pitching. We're, we, were, oh. we were talking about Gung Ho coming back in the offense. Yeah, and anything about, about Gung Ho? What are you thinking going forward? I'm thinking he's not ready right yet. Ooh. So leave him down a little bit longer? Well, I mean, the 150 average kind of speaks for itself. I mean, nah. even if I know he's coming off of a tough injury, he's probably still getting acclimated, but let him get his stride. Then bring them up. You know, you don't want this guy to lose confidence. You know, if you want them 20 home runs out of them. Yeah. Then, you, you know, let them figure it out. I mean, but as far as the rest of the team, I mean, Jay So, he cooled off a little bit. But, I mean, to start the season, wow. Yeah, everything's looking good right now. McCutcheon just got to get on his game. Fans, that's it. You want to hit us up about the Pirates? You think we're right? Yeah, you can let us know. Twitter.com, baby. Bet the spread. Twitter.com. <laughs> yeah. Twitter.com. Run them. At bet, bet underscore the spread. At bet underscore the spread. Facebook.com. Like that page. YouTube. The spread them. You know it. <laughs> Peace.